For today's lesson, let's focus on understanding the different behavioral styles or personality traits of our co-workers so that we can form an optimal working relationship. Companies today are expanding the role of teams in the workplace in an effort to empower employees and improve organizational effectiveness. The more we try to work as a team, the more important it becomes to recognize that people exhibit different behavioral styles. Understanding different behavioral styles is helpful all right, for appreciating that while people are different, everyone has a value and special strength and qualities and that everyone should be treated with care and respect. As the old saying, different strokes for different folks. We can't treat everyone the same way if you want to build trust and achieve a greater understanding. Taking the time to understand your employees' behavioral styles is important because it will help in the process of building a resilient team. The other thing is that once employers understand the types of behavior that individual team members possess, they can more easily understand how those people will react in a certain situation. When managers know their own natural style, they can adapt their behavior to ensure that they get the best out of other team members. Good managers can then build teams that utilize all behavior types, ensure that everyone is on the same page and that there is harmony and balance within their company. By understanding our own style and the styles of our team members would allow us to be effective as an OKR coach in guiding, in motivating, in managing and developing our team towards achieving the OKRs. Generally, there are four behavioral styles and each style has its own unique strength and weaknesses. You can take a brief questionnaire to find out your own style. The four main behavioral styles that I want to share with you today, which fall under various uh, headings uh, depending on what training uh, method is used. For example, DISC is a widely used method. Um, these behavioral styles are dominance, influence, steadiness, and compliance. Though each behavioral style is unique, it is uncommon to find a person who exhibits every characteristics of one style. Usually, you will find that an individual is a mixture of all the four different styles, but with one leading behavior. Let's talk a little bit about the people who are dominant. Sometimes known as the doer, these individuals are driven and they want to succeed. Generally seen as target focus, they are direct, work to deadlines and will want to achieve results in any cost, they won't simply take no for an answer, meaning they can also be aggressive, dominant and forceful. How about influence? Now, those who influence are seen as leaders. They are creative, they always have a lot of new ideas and they are able to see the wider picture. Sociable and extroverted influencers communicate assertively and loudly to achieve goals. They are natural leaders who can also be adventurous, spontaneous, self-centered and impulsive. They enjoy the limelight. They are very enthusiastic in trying something new and they are very optimistic as well. Now let's take a look at steadiness. Those who display steadiness are generally team players who can be introverted but always want the best for others. Caring and friendly, steady people like routine. They like routine and they are known for their reliability and consistency. But although they are good with people, they can become uh, sulky, withdrawn and resistant when exposed to sudden change. Now let's take a look at compliance. A compliant person is conscientious and meticulous and they will work carefully, precisely and to budget. They are introverted 
enjoy working alone and are very risk averse people. Meaning they can also be calculating, private, unsociable and boring. Compliant people are perfectionists and they are very good in analysis but may tend to overanalyze and uh, analyze so much until they become paralyzed. <laughs> now, no behavioral style is better or superior than another. And in order for any business to thrive, for the team to work productively and harmoniously, they will usually need all four. As OKR coach, we need to be aware of these four different behavioral styles because each style wants to be coached differently and the way we engage them will be different, including the kind of questions that we ask uh, and also the way how you handle them will be different as well. Now, let's do some exercise. What kind of questions you can ask for each style of these people? Uh, all right, so I want you to show a uh, list down all the uh, questions that you could possibly ask for each type of this um, four different behavioral styles. You see, co-workers are like our family. Most of the time, you don't get to choose them and they will inevitably be people around you whom you naturally clash. A lot of conflicts happen at the workplace is because people fail to understand and appreciate each other. The way how well you relate to each other, build trust and whether your co-workers like and respect you will ultimately affect your performance at work. It will determine whether we will come together to achieve our departmental OKRs. Thus, it is important for OKR coach to learn how to create an environment that allow the team to understand the behavioral styles that determine how our co-workers think, make decisions, communicate, manage time and stress, and deal with conflict. By understanding your own and the people style you are dealing with, you can establish rapport with someone more easily, become more persuasive and avoid miscommunication and the possibility of rubbing someone the wrong way.